Hey guys, it's Zach from Racing Sim Tools, and today I'm pretty excited. Um, we've been giving hints about a new tool that we've been working on called RST Pit Manager. This tool allows you to control the MFD window for your teammates. That way you don't have to do it while you're driving. You can have your teammates do it and you can focus on driving. And today we're actually uh, releasing the, the actual beta of this app. Um, the app is mostly done, but we haven't been able to test it with a lot of users, um, concurrent users at the same time. So we're kind of doing a soft release, um, trying to see if we find any issues um, as uh, more and more people start to use it. Um, so, you know, it should work for your purposes, but just be um, kind of patient with us as we work through these things and we'll try to get them resolved as soon as possible. Um, this video, we're going to actually walk through um, how to use the app just kind of as a quick tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section of the video or on our Discord, um, which there will be a link in the, the description of this video. So the first thing you, you'll see when you open the app is this window. Um, this is the login screen. Um, RST Pit Manager does require our active RST subscription. Um, you can get that subscription by going to our website. Um, you can see here, um, clicking on subscriptions and then uh, opting in for the, the one month or the, the one year license. Um, once you have that active subscription, you'll, you can come back to the login screen and log in. Um, the app, if you have the check mark at the bottom checked, will remember your login credentials um, like it does here. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys if you don't have an active subscription or a bad username, um, when you click login, um, you'll see this error message. Um, so just note that if you don't have an active subscription and you think you do, uh, please just send us a, a, a ticket through the website and we'll get that resolved. Um, but once you uh, log in correctly, um, after you click uh, login, it'll go ahead and log you in. And then um, you'll be prompted to either join a current room or to create your own. So the way this app works is everyone um, will create a room um, where they're broadcasting their data and receiving pit commands from. Um, so whenever you do a new event, your team will create or join this room and then you'll be able to um, send and receive their data. So the first thing we're going to do is connect to a room, which you can see here. Um, you can see there is a room called Pit Manager, and it has one member. Um, so if this was your team's room, you could just click on it. It's going to see the selected room says pit, the room that you selected. So this says Pit Manager, and then I'm going to hit a password. I try to join with no password. It tells me I can't leave a blank. Um, so just make sure you enter the password there. Um, if you want to start your own server, like this isn't the correct uh, server, I can click on Start Server. It's going to prompt me for a room name and a room password. So this is where I would just say test, you know, one, two, three, and then give it a password. I'm just going to call it RST. And when I hit create, um, you're going to see it went ahead and placed me in that room because now it says listening to room test one, two, three. That room now has one member and now um, it gives me option to disconnect from it. And now if I select, I can't join another room. So this is how you know when you're connected to a room. Um, we imagine that there's going to be quite a lot of rooms in the future um, as more people start using this tool. So if you need to search for a room, like you need to filter it, um, there is a search bar up here. Just type in uh, the name of the room you're looking for and it'll um, um, filter these results to sh show what you want. Um, when I close this, you can see that um, this is the interface that I'll have. Um, so right now I'm not receiving any data. So the driver sent time, fuel, tire pressures, current tire set are all blank. But if there were people in my room and if that person was driving, I would be receiving their data. Um, so these values would update. So we actually have um, Speed Demon who helps out with RSD um, driving right now. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from this server. Um, and we're going to go ahead and connect to that pit manager um, server. Um, so I'm just going to type in the password and click join. Um, you can see I'm now connected to that room. It says connected to room pit manager. And now you can see I'm getting his data instead of those X's. Now I see how much, you know, stint time is left in his uh, stint, what his fuel tank is at, what his average fuel burn is, what the tire pressures are on the car currently. So that's front left, front right, rear left, rear right. And then what tire set is on the car. I can also see what is in his MFD right now. So right now he has zero fuel to add. He has tire set one selected and these tire pressures. 
So let's say I was going to go ahead and send him a command um, to, you know, set his MFD, like he's going to come in to get fuel. So let's say, okay, he's on, uh, we're going to add 100 liters of fuel. Let's put him on tire set two. Um, and let's set these tire pressures to, you know, 27.5 all the way around. And you can also use these. Um, I like to type in, uh, but you can use the increment if you need. So I'm going to go ahead and send this command. You can see it says the command was sent and the MFD is changing in real time. So you can see as I sent that, the fuel, the tire set, all those things changed. So this is some pre-recorded footage that we did um, when we were testing. Um, but this is what you could expect to see if you were the driver in the car at this time. RST pit manager will automatically cycle to the pit um, MFD window. And then it will cycle through all of the settings and um, change the settings um, per what uh, the, the pit command requested. One thing to note here, though, is your pit, your setup needs to have at least one pit strategy set um, so that the pit strategy row shows up. As long as that is in the, the menu, um, it will automatically cycle and then do um, the settings correctly. Um, and you can do this as many times as you want. You can also see the, in the history, it says command sent, um, you know, what the time was and then what was the command. This is kind of nice if you want to see, you know, what was the, the tire pressures used in your last pit stop. Um, but I could, I could send this again. Maybe I made a mistake and say, oh, instead of, you know, 27.5, we need 28 PSI. Again, I just enter what I need here. And uh, let's say we're going to go to wets this time. So there. It's going to see the, the fuel dropped. And then it said all the tire pressures to 28. So again, this is how you can use the tool um, to change the MFD for your driver. Um, again, everyone on, that's on your team will need to open the tool and join the room that everyone is connected to. Um, but this has been a great help. We've been testing it um, ourselves on the RSD Esports team for a while. And we're now ready for public testing, again, to see how the server um, handles the demand. So again, if you have any issues or anything, please let us know in the comments down below or on the Discord channel. The Discord channel does have a pit manager channel specifically for any feedback. Um, so let us know. But uh, we're looking forward to you guys testing it. Um, until then, this is Zach, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.